Hello, ladies, gentlemen, and envies, and thank you for tuning back into St. Andrew TV, a cure for your Monday blues. I am, of course, your host, Andrew, and today we're doing another installment of Fancy Gun Spinning Tricks. And on today's installment, we're going to do a combination of all the different gun spinning tricks you've seen on this channel. This is going to be more of a beginner's guide because we have learned the basics of gun spinning on previous videos that you've seen. And now we're just going to put them all together so you can impress your old west friends when you're down on the dusty trail. So let's get into it. No one on the corner has a wagon like us. Hit me on my bar a prepaid wireless. We pack and deliver like UPS trucks. Already gonna hell just pumping that gas. All I wanna do is and uh sing and take your money. All I wanna do is and uh sing and take your money. So as we get started, I'm going to state first and foremost that this is a little combination that I've come up with. It's very simple. We're going to go one backward, one forward, two backward, two forward, road agent spin, three backward, three forward, and then we're going to do half of a road agent spin and holster our gun. And you will see how I holster the gun. I have my pistol sitting in the cavalry draw position, but you can also do this with a cross draw. It works either which way. And you can also do this with a normal strong side holster. All you're gonna do is just turn it over and sit the gun facing towards your backside. So what is the first thing that we do here on Fancy Gun Spinning Tricks? We're gonna pull our gun. We are gonna put the gun in half cock. We're gonna open the loading gate and we are gonna check if our gun is empty because we don't do the gun spinning tricks with a loaded firearm because that is extremely dangerous but since this thing is unloaded and ready to rock and roll I'm going to show you how to do this miscellaneous combination of spins. Like I said earlier we are going to do a combination of spins you've seen previously on this channel so if you need to go back and watch any of those to get the basics down and then come back to this one all those links will be down in the description. So the first one we're going to do is the backward spin like so. Easy as that. And then you're going to go to a forward spin. It's that simple. Then you're going to go two back like that and two forward like that. Then you're going to do the road agent spin, which is one of the first videos here on this channel. So go check that out if you don't know how to do the road agent spin. But how you do that is you're going to drop the gun back like so. Grab your three fingers and bring it up like that and offering it to the person who is asking for it. And I go over the whole idea behind the road agent spin in that video. But since we're in this position here, we're gonna open up our three fingers again and we're gonna get it back up into a firing position. You saw all those movements. Go back to the other video if you have any further questions. And then we're gonna go backward three times, like so. And we're gonna go forward three times, like so. And then how we're gonna holster it, which you don't have to do, is you're gonna do half the road agent spin again, or I guess the Bill Aiken spin, if you're so apt to. And you're gonna have the pistol like this, and you're gonna feed it into your cavalry draw holster, or you can feed it into your cross draw with your hand turned over like this. So let's do all of this in real time now. Simple as that. Now let's do it from this side.
because I have the proper equipment to do this now. I'm actually going to show you one from a chest position, which you'll also see later down this week as a YouTube short, so make sure you go check that out on Thursday. Let me know if that is something you want to see in the future with the shoulder cam. It is new and it can be a little shaky, so I tried my best to see if everyone at home enjoyed seeing it from my point of view. And that is all there is to it. Now this might take you a while because you know it might look simple in theory but it does take a lot of work to wield around a about two and three quarter pound piece of steel. Please leave a like if you've enjoyed today's gun spinning combination video or leave me a comment stating what you liked or tell me what I should do next. Thank you for everyone who has subscribed as of late. It really does warm my heart from the top of it all the way down to the bottom. But if, for those of you who have come across this video and you have yet to hit that subscribe button, think about doing so. Because you're a daisy, if you do.